In the ever-evolving world of, there are moments when innovation transcends our understanding of the laws of physics. Andre Coutier's self-generating perpetual electrical energy generator is one such creation that beckons us to reconsider our fundamental principles of energy generation. This remarkable device, also known as the free energy generator, defies conventional wisdom by amplifying electric current rather than voltage, offering the tantalizing possibility of free energy. In this essay, we will explore the intricacies of Coutier's invention, its unique circuitry, and the intriguing theory surrounding its operation. The circuitry the circuitry and nature of Coutier's generator. At first glance, the self-generating perpetual electrical energy generator appears as a transformer due to its structural resemblance. However, its essence is profoundly different. Instead of amplifying voltage, as transformers typically do, Coutier's invention focuses on the amplification of current. The crux of its operation lies in the electromagnetic field generated within the transformer steel core. Remarkably, this device maintains a constant output voltage in relation to the input while increasing the current by a staggering factor of 216 times, as specified in its patent. The possibility exists to further elevate this amplification factor with a deeper comprehension of its inner workings, hinting at the vast potential it holds within. The Quest for Free Energy Andre Coutier's self-generating perpetual electrical energy generator is a testament to the pursuit of free energy, an aspiration that has captivated the minds of inventors and scientists for generations. This groundbreaking innovation does not raise the voltage, but rather enhances the current. The key to this transformation lies in the unique design of the secondary coils, which are connected in parallel. According to the theory of parallel voltage sources, the voltage at common connection points equals that of the component sources. However, the true magic lies in the bifiller style of winding the secondary coil, a technique pioneered by the legendary Nikola Tesla. This innovative approach allows the device to behave like a transformer exempt from Lenz's law, amplifying current instead of voltage. The implications of this shift are profound, paving the way for the prospect of free energy generation. Description of Coutier's Free Energy Generator The physical construction of Coutier's invention consists of a closed magnetic circuit, comprising a central core crafted from soft iron with a cylindrical shape and an S-shaped cross-section. Surrounding this central core are N satellite cores, arranged in a circular configuration and featuring cross-sections parallel to the central core. These satellite cores are connected to the central nucleus by the two N afferent branches within the SN section. The central core hosts an induction coil, meticulously wound with a specific number of turns to saturate the magnetic circuit with a predetermined induced current intensity. Each satellite core carries a coil with an identical number of turns as the central core. This unique arrangement transforms each end group formed by the central and satellite cores into an individual transformer, with the induced current in each satellite coil mirroring the power of the central induced current. Structured in this manner, Coutier's device possesses the ability to multiply electrical energy, collecting more energy than it initially consumes. The potential for perpetual energy generation becomes apparent, offering the prospect of indefinitely drawing power from the collected energy to perpetually replenish the original source. Conspiracies and Implications Intriguingly, discussions surrounding inventions like the self-generating perpetual electrical energy generator often include elements of conspiracy. Some suggest that powerful entities, such as the Federal Reserve, sought to suppress such innovative technologies following the tumultuous events of two world wars. While these claims remain speculative, they underscore the disruptive potential of inventions like Coutier's, which challenge established energy paradigms. In closing, Andre Coutier's self-generating perpetual electrical energy generator stands as a beacon of human ingenuity and innovation, offering a tantalizing glimpse into the realm of free energy generation. Its unique ability to amplify current without increasing voltage defies conventional wisdom, sparking intrigue and debate in scientific circles. As we continue to explore the boundaries of scientific discovery, Coutier's creation reminds us that the quest for free energy remains an enduring and captivating journey, challenging the very foundations of our understanding of power generation. Gift Free Motionless Electromagnetic Generator MEG Free Energy Transformer Generate electricity to power your home with just a battery or phone charger. The square pulse generator controls the power generation on demand. demand. The meaning of free energy system may not be familiar to us. So what is it? We usually think that the amount of produced energy cannot be greater than the amount of energy we use to produce that. However, in the case of free electricity system, what we get is far more than what we use. Some inventors had claimed that they have already achieved that stage. There are many inventors who have contributed to Tesla's original idea.
Thomas Henry Moray invented a radiant energy device, Edwin Gray had the 50 horsepower Emma motor and Paul Bowman designed Tesla machine with two parallel magnetic discs. Dr. Robert Adams from New Zealand's invention, heaters, generators and electric motors are powered by permanent magnets. There is also the motionless electromagnetic generator, MEG by Tom and the electromagnetic generator by John. A Japanese doctor, Dr. Nakamot also invented the floppy disks which use Nikola Tesla's free energy system to generate free electricity right in his own house. With all those contributions, we are quite success in conquering free power. However, we still have a long way to go if we want to perfect non-renewable energy resources. First of all, we have to consider the safety when dealing with electricity as this field is quite dangerous. The second thing is its availability. The conception of free electricity does not exist, I have to admit. We cannot find any kind of free energy, but what we can do, though, is to find an energy source that is cheaper, cleaner and more efficient. The thing is we have to act now if we do not want it to be too late.